Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This week's Afterlife video is going to be a great one, of course, because we are going to be chatting with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Yep, I said Freddie Mercury. He's been quite popular and I can see why, because he's so sweet. His energy is so good, it's so nice, he's very sensitive, he's very caring, and he's fun. He's really fun to be around, so I, it's a pleasure. It's totally a pleasure for me to welcome in Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Now, today we have a topic-based conversation. We are gonna talk about spirit guides. I'm gonna ask him about spirit guides, and he knows that, so that's part of the content of our conversation, but we'll see where else it might go <laughs> after that. It's hard to tell with Freddie. And he wanted me to wear sparkles. It was funny. Um, I just did a session this morning and I did another channeling and I could feel Freddie's energy around. And I thought, oh, I better go change my shirt. I just had a simple um, um, black shirt on. and. He was like, sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. I'm like, okay, let's do sparkles. So this is kind of sparkly. You can't probably tell that much, but sparkly, sparkly. So, all right. I wore this one in my Elizabeth Taylor channel. And so that's also on Above Life channel. She was one of my first, early on, like in the first month or so that I channeled. So uh, good taste, huh? Good taste, right? It's so nice to have you here. Your energy is just awesome. It just cheers me up. So I, Freddie, I would love for the viewers to be able to feel your energy, sense your energy, because part of what connects us is our sensitivities, the way we feel energy. And that just that doesn't mean you're just an empath or you're just sensitive. It means that's how you're using your intuition. That's how you're connecting with your own spirit and if you want, with spirit guides and afterlife, right? So let's, can you, can you get really close? He's like gonna sit on my lap practically. <laughs> He says, no, no, I won't do that to you. <laughs> He's okay. So Freddie Mercury is going to get really close. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with my hands because I can feel spirit energy. <laughs> He's, like... He's like, okay. He's being silly and he's like sticking his butt out and kind of moving his butt in front of the... <laughs> he's like, can you feel that? <laughs> no. For you guys, <laughs> he's so playful. He's like, oh, no, 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 seriously. He's like, oh, getting really close to the camera. Give yourself a moment, really, <laughs> viewers. Just feel this energy, just close your eyes if you're not driving. Don't, don't close your eyes if you're driving, if you're listening when you're driving, but just feel the energy that he brings in. Where does it come to you? Does it come in your heart space? Does it come into your tummy area, into the core of your body, like your intuition, your heart or your intuition? Um, th those are probably the most likely places that the energy will be felt. He just seems like that. Like he's much, he's actually kind of, for me, he's in between my heart and my um, spirit chakra. So in between my heart and my belly button, he's right here in the middle, in the core. It's just really beautiful. Thank you for that. And he said, then he sits down. He's like, am I too close? I'm like, well, you can get really close. It's fine. We can get really close while we're chatting so that maybe... Those of you who are watching can really feel this energy. That would be so great. Can you want to, I'm just going to slide. You guys are going to think this is crazy, but I usually have a chair. I'm in my kitchen. This is where the magic happens. It has the best light in the house too. So that's why I do videos that way during the day. Um, and so I, I set a chair for, for spirit sometimes. Sometimes I have stools too by my kitchen countertop. This stuff is over here. And it's kind of like an open format here in the house. And sometimes there's a stool over, there's always a stool over here. And so sometimes they'll sit on the stool instead and I'll just kind of connect and let the energy flow. But Freddie's like right here. <laughs> and he has to be close because his energy feels so good, you guys. It feels so good. You're super popular now because of the movie, I think. And, and he's saying, well, and somebody hasn't seen it. I know I haven't seen it yet and it's gonna be out of the theaters pretty soon, I know, but it's been just so such a busy holiday season. It came out during the holidays. Of course, I didn't have time to go see it. He says, oh, because someone went on vacation. Come on, the first vacation with my husband in 10 years. I think I that was well-earned, mister, you know. He's like, yes, yes, you must have time with your lover, he says. <laughs> mm. All right. So, 
No, I haven't seen the movie, but you're, do you think that that's why? I mean, that's got to be intellectually. I'm like, that's got to be why you're so, just so popular. She says the music. The music is so, it, it, uh, he says it's so good, but good isn't the right word he's saying um, that expresses. He says the music is what touches people. It really, it, it's the message. It's the, it doesn't, it's like a, it's legendary. It's like a legacy kind of a thing, but he's not saying those words. I can't quite get the right match, but he's saying it's the music. It's the music. And you have band members. Your band members are still around. You have band members and they're still singing and you know, the, the queen is still a band. Oh, oh, let's ask. So I want to know what you think about Adam Lambert. Um, I understand that Adam Lambert was one of the singers then um, for Queen. I mean, I don't know if he still is. I remember hearing that, I think like a year or so ago, maybe might've even been like 2016, 2017. This video was recorded in 2019, early, early in the year, the new year. What do you think about that? I think he's Adam Lambert. He's got to be himself. He doesn't have to try to be me. You know, he's not acting. He's not portraying me in a movie. And uh, he says, so he's talking, okay, we're talking about two things. We're talking about the movie and we're talking about Adam Lambert being in Queen. All right. So do you have any opinions or views? And the afterlife, I know you don't have like the ego mind necessarily, but as the Freddie that you were as a person, how do you feel about Adam Lambert's um, um, work with Queen? He says, I think it's acceptable. I think it's acceptable. He is a... Uh, Definitely an artist, definitely creative in his own rights. And I think people should accept him and allow him to do the work that he is on earth to bring forward and to do. I think there are um, many choices to be the front man for the band. And I think variety would be good also. Now, when you say variety, I, after your death, and I don't know how soon after, I'm not sure, but um, people send me clips of stuff after when I do channeling and stuff and people send me clips, they'll email me and send me clips of stuff. And one of the clips that someone sent me, I actually watched, it was, it was awesome, totally awesome. It was George Michael. Um, it was like a tribute to you, a tribute to Freddie Mercury in Queen. Um, a tribute to you, to you, he says, the band. He refer As soon as I say Freddie Mercury, he says the Queen. As soon as I say Freddie Mercury, he says the band. Like he totally redirects back to the group, the harmony of the group. Of the I, I appreciate the bond and the loyalty and the devotion to the community, the, the group of the band. He says, you know, we're like family. You spend more time with the bandmates than you do family. And we were together a very long time, and that was the closest thing I had, you know just such a support network and I'm very I'm thankful for that he says all right so so I saw this clip and it was George Michael and he was singing uh, somebody somebody to love someone to love somebody to love I don't know you guys the actual title somebody thank you <laughs> somebody somebody he kind of laughs like body get it like haha -ha, like body haha because -ha. he doesn't have a body somebody to love <laughs> maybe we should um, amend the title <laughs> hmm. soul love <laughs> all right what did you how did you feel about that is that kind of what you're referring to a little bit he says you know George is here in the afterlife is what he's referring to George is here he said you know George is here you've talked to George Many times, yes I have. And I'm not great with the accents, Freddie. I'm not great with the accents. <laughs> he kind of laughs, he's like, there really aren't any of those over here. It's just all in how you interpret it, Bridget. He says it's all in who is, is channeling, who's speaking, how they, how they tap into uh, our memories of our human life. So he says, don't pay attention, you know, don't worry about that. Pay no mind to that, <laughs> okay. No, he says, no, George is 
phenomenal, incredible singer. What a voice. He says, what a voice. Just incredible. So you were pleased with that? Oh, incredible. He says, incredible. And then um, he says, I want to see Lady Gaga do it. Lady Gaga, just like random. Hello, you guys. I'm not like a big fan of any particular musician right now. I don't think. I might be. I'm not sure who I'm really super into. Uh, I'm not a super big follower of music, but I do like music. Um, but Lady Gaga, wow. You know, is, is it, it must be her creative expression. Her, he says her performance, the theatrical performance, yes. Now that would be a good one. I would love to see her with Queen. He says, I would like to see that. Let's get a female in there, he says. <laughs> It would be fantastic. Wouldn't it be fantastic? He says, wouldn't it be fantastic? It would be fantastic. You know I'm right. He's like, you know, it would be fantastic. And then um, in that same clip, I saw David Bowie because he was part of it too, because he sang Under Pressure with you. So he was also in that, um, at the tribute, I think. I didn't watch the whole tribute. I just watched like the practice of it or something. There was a practice. It was just incredible. And David Bowie was just kind of feeling it. Do you have anything uh, to share about that, about David Bowie? He says, he's here too. He's here too. Well, you did Under Pressure with him. It's my understanding. I know that. I've learned that. Yes. Uh, yeah, you know, we didn't really... Um, it's like he's, he's trying to describe to me that they had artistic views that were a little bit different about the nature of the song. And um, although it was his idea that he wanted, David Bowie wanted to do, sing with them, he definitely has his own very individualized view of, of how things should be arranged and music and creating and such. So he's just, um, Freddie is acknowledging the two of them as very unique individual artists and how the arrangement of things was really important is, is, and you can probably see it in his work, I would assume, with David Bowie, that it was really important to him, the structure of things, the flow of things. And Freddie says, I just wanted it to look good. It needed to look good. It needed to sound good and look good. But the, the individual parts, although really, you know, that's important. Uh, David was much more specific or much more particular. I thought what he did was fine. I thought what he did was great, but he he's very, was very particular about it. So, and, I, and you have to respect that. You have to respect that. It's an artist, it's your work. You have to respect that, it reflects you. And, and I respect that. Thank you, interesting, interesting. So talk about the movie. I was supposed to talk to you about Spirit Guides, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> Hopefully it will happen. Let's, let's try to get that in there. He says, do you want me to be your spirit guide, Bridget? Do you want me to be your spirit guide? Oh, Freddie, I am sure there's so many people that would love you to be their spirit guides. And you are so sweet. You can come and visit me anytime. And I love your energy. Okay, so Freddie, as a spirit guide, how would we invite you to be our spirit guide? Can we do that? I've asked other afterlife guests that too. So there's different, you know, there might be different views. I don't know. Can we invite you to be our spirit guide? He says, yes, of course you can. You can always ask. You should ask. Ask for what you want. Ask for what you want. Okay, so how does that work then? Aren't you like really busy then with everybody? Wouldn't you be like with everybody? How, I mean, how does that even, how can you do that? He says it's like, um, it's like touring. He says it's like touring. You do a show and you do another show and you do another show and you do another show. And sometimes you're in studio and uh, you just you're making music. He said, it's the same. It's not any different to me. It's all artistry. It's just the flow of energy. It's the flow of things. Okay. So you can be in multiple places at once and help multiple people at once. Well, abs absolutely. Yes. That's how it works. He says, yes, that's how it works. Okay. So a lot of people have felt like they've had connection with you and contact with you. And Partly, I think, because of the movie, because it opened up something. Did the movie open up some kind of a portal or some kind of a, 
uh, a spiritual awakening? Did it start something? He said, yes, yes, and that's, and it's good. It served, it served such a uh, beautiful purpose. He's like incredible, like all these adjectives. I can't um, even keep up like he's all this stuff. Um, yes, it served a wonderful purpose. It, just an incredible, incredible, infinite, infinite, infinite connection infinite reality, infinite purpose, and it, it will continue, and he's showing me like a figure eight, like a figure eight. And he's showing me the figure eight, the, uh, it's the, the flow of things, the flow of things, and he says, yes, it opened up a portal, in your words, portal, it opened up a, it's like a box of light, you opened it up the box, and it was like, wow, and you just, the light just comes out, it, it flows out, you can't put it back in, it's flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing. And so, so in this way, yes, many have uh, awakened, began to realize that there is connection and there is divinity in, in the way that we are as uh, humans. When you are a human, inside of you, you hold that treasure box. That box of light is, is as so beautifully put, is a, a, a image of your soul, your spirit. And isn't that beautiful? That is so, that is just awesome. Isn't that just incredible? That is. I, I'm grateful for that. You're grateful for what? What part of that? What do you mean? The awakening or the movie or? He says all of it, all of it. And yes, many people have asked, Many other interviewers, he says, you know, many other interviewers and many of your viewers have asked me privately if I approve of the movie, if I'm okay with the movie. Yes, absolutely. It's artistry. It's artistry and it's sharing and telling a story and it's one perspective and there are many, but it has served just a beautiful purpose and it has awakened us as a humankind, it has awakened us. And all of the spirit within you, the spirit light within you has been given the opportunity to get out of whatever stuck state it has been in. It's opened you up, even just a little bit, even if you don't know, you're not uh, aware of it, you know, in your mind, it has. So I'm grateful for that, he says. I really need to see the movie. Oh, go ahead and put your mean comments below. I have not, <laughs> I have not seen the movie. You guys, I have a busy life. Not seen the movie. I will at some point. I would, I will try to see it in the theater before it goes away. But I'm kind of afraid to get sucked in, and then all I want to do is channel Freddie Mercury, because you guys, his energy is so. Your energy is just incredible. It's so awesome to be around you. It's easy to talk to you. It's easy to connect with you, and so. If we, the viewers who are watching, want to connect with you, what is the best way to do that? He says, just talk to me. Just talk to me. And you can feel me. He says, you feel me. Just talk to me and feel me. You know, he says, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be like um, having a conversation or, you know, having coffee or having drinks. It's not going to be the same as that. But there is contact. We do, we do communicate. It's just in a, a different way than, than what your mind can understand. So we just talk to you and feel you. Yes. So by listening to the music, can that maybe help? He says that can let down your guard. Um, maybe keep your mind busy so your spirit can sneak out. Like it's like sneak out of the house kind of thing and go to the party talk to Freddie Mercury kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So people aren't crazy when they feel you and they, um, he says the easiest, he said, oh, Bridget, you know this. He said, oh, Bridget, you know this. The easiest way is to feel me. Yes, feel me, feel me. You definitely are an advocate as a spirit guide, as a mentor, as a spiritual teacher, if you want to connect with him in that way. He doesn't like the word teacher. He's like, I'm not teaching. Oh, no, 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 no. And I'm not even meant to, I don't want to be responsible for, for um, others necessarily in that way. So I don't want. It's not my job. Um, but he is an advocate to raise awareness for sensitivity and being a sensitive person, but also taking a stand for being who you are, 
while you are being sensitive, like not to change who you are so that you can conform or so that you can please other people in your life, even if it's your parents, your family, your fans, your critics, your boss, whatever it is, to you don't have to change yourself to fit in. The most wonderful people in the world are people that don't fit in. They're unique, they, they love themselves, and they're not famous. Everybody isn't famous. He says, I know it can be lonely. You can feel like you don't fit in. I, I know that, I understand that. And that's part of what, he says, that's part of what I do here, like in the afterlife. He says, that's part of what I do here. I connect you with that. I, I help people feel like they're not so alone while they're trying to figure out who they are, you know, while they're trying to be themselves in, in the world. And the world doesn't seem so friendly sometimes. But if you remember that we are connected spirit to spirit, and that you do have help, like you said, Bridget, spirit guides. You do have help. There's help available to you. Just ask and let yourself feel it. He's like, he keeps touching right above the heart, like in between the throat chakra and the heart chakra. He keeps touching right here. You can feel it, he says. So he's definitely, so you're definitely part of your role in the afterlife is to be an advocate for sensitive spirits, for people who are sensitive, for empaths. That is beautiful, and I recognized that. I saw that in a video that you and I did. I totally saw that, I totally called that. I'm like, oh yes, this is his job in the afterlife. And it's not formal, that's why he doesn't like, like teacher or mentor or whatever. He's like, I just help you out by feeling. I can feel you, we can connect and, and communicate through feeling. That's beautiful, that's really beautiful. And now you're really mellow. You guys feel the mellow energy? Just let's take a breath in and feel the energy of Freddie Mercury. Honoring our sensitivities and exhale out. Beautiful. What a beautiful connection. Thank you so much. I, I so appreciate you. I so appreciate you very, very much. Thank you. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. You have been watching an afterlife conversation with Freddie Mercury. We wanted to chat about, I wanted to talk to him about spirit guides. And so he gave a little information about that, but he also talked about Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie. He also talked about um, Adam Lambert when, uh, with Queen and other, um, he also talked about um, George Michael with Queen during a tribute concert or tribute thing. And what else did we talk about? Sensitivity, his role in the afterlife is as being an advocate for um, sensitive people, for sensitive energy and helping you to feel connected to yourself and, and why you're discovering who you are and having that, that um, comfort in knowing that, you know, who you are, even though you feel separate perhaps from others that um, who you are matters and that you are totally and completely loved. Did I say that okay? Yes, you did. Yes, he said, yes, you did. Well said. <laughs> Thanks. For some reason, he has like this king hat on, like a hat with a red, puffy red hat with a gold thing, and it looks like a king, like a big old, like you'd see in like a theatrical production, like a theater, like a play or something, or old school play. And then he's got this big like staff that's like got a spire on the top of it, and it's just big gold staff, and he's like, like looking all like important and yes, yes, well done, he says, <laughs> like, okay, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this, uh, this channeling with Freddie Mercury, now he's getting closer again, uh, channeling with Freddie Mercury has inspired your spirit and filled you with hope. Remember the purpose here at Above Life Channel is to encourage you to live your life. This is your life after all. So live it, just live it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, make some comments if you choose to do so, and to add value to the conversation, and share it with someone that is a fan of Freddie Mercury that you know would love to watch it. Thank you so much for being here.